All right, this is an old this is an old box. It's got a transformer. In the old days, batteries and transformers, electric transformers, oh, they would actually put them in a wood box. They would actually put them in a wood box. And this is a real old piece of physics equipment. It's got a transformer inside of it, and you hook up your wires, and you got a couple switches, and then you ever see Frankenstein's lab? And the lightning bolts go up the side? <laughs> you never seen uh, Frankenstein? No? Right, well, I, got a, I got a nice treat for you then. Don't tell me you got like a zombie up in the I'm thinking blowing my face. Yesterday I saw a video and it discussed about uh, Benjamin Franklin, right? Uh, Benjamin Franklin was a, was a young man in Boston, born in Boston, and his dad had about maybe a whole bunch of kids. And his dad was blue collar, I think he was a cement worker or cement layer, whatever you want to call it, blue collar worker. So they didn't have like a lot of money. And back then you had a bunch of kids because what you do is you have the kids work around the house. His brother, his brother was a, a, a print shop owner, uh, created a newspaper, it wasn't newspapers back then, it was just prints that you would have stories on in Boston. And uh, his dad sent Ben to, uh, so they didn't have to pay for uh, Ben's food anymore, sent Ben Franklin to uh, his brother's place to be an apprentice, to become a print shop guy himself. Ben's brother was jealous because Ben was, was really smart, even though he was a little kid. So he used to smack him around all the time. Uh, he'd have him clean up stuff and smack him around. So the American dream, right? Uh, Franklin, he didn't like this very much, so what he did was he, uh, he ran away. He hopped on a boat and went to Philadelphia before Philadelphia was much of anything. And uh, got a job and made, made, made himself very rich. And then when he, when he made enough money, he sold his print shop and he wanted to be someone, he wanted to do some great things. One of the things he wanted to do was he saw some guy uh, going around with the electric show, uh, which we're going to do today. All right, now there's two types of charges, and Ben Franklin named those charges. What did he name them at the time? Stephanie, two types of charges, what are they? And what's the electrical charge? Protons have what? And what's the other one? Electrons have what? Negative. Negative. Okay. So on this Van de Graaff, what we have here, what is it that jumps around? The protons or the electrons? Electrons. Electrons. So if you see stuff jumping around here, what do you see jumping around? Electrons. electrons. So what's on this thing? Electrons. What's, what's building up on here? Electrons. Electrons. Yes. Right now, right now it's neutral. No more zap. It has an equal number of protons and electrons. But the protons will be the same. They'll never change on this. Protons can't move around. That's what makes every substance what it is. So on this, the protons are just sitting here. If the electrons build up on this, then you get more electrons built up on here. And then they want, they, do electrons like each other? Do one electron go up and say, oh, it's an electron party. You're my friend. You're no, my friend. No, they, go away. They, they don't like each other. So if you get a bunch of electrons over here, what happens to the next electron? <laughs> they kick them off, and then a bunch follow with them, all his buddies too. So that's what's jumping, is those electrons getting kicked off. I got some pie plates. Let's say for, uh, for instance here, let's say, for, hit the lamp for me. Let's say for instance, that this is a pie plate full of electrons, and this is a pie. A couple of electron pies, perhaps. Uh, if I tried to move these plates together, what would happen? They'd repel each other, and they'd go like that. You ever seen that? You ever seen the X-Men? You know that guy Magneto? And he raises things. All right, watch this. They all just fly. I think I've had it. All right. All right, what we have is I have little pieces of, uh, it's actually styrofoam. So each, each, we just did the pie, I'll do the pie pants again. Uh, I have little pieces of styrofoam, and each little piece of uh, styrofoam is going to get its own, it's going to get its own uh, electron shipment. So here we go, let's watch it. So now we got all these little pieces of styrofoam here. 
There's some big ones in there. But we got a broom. I'll get it up. Some of the other ones might be a little heavy. So when we, each one gets a little too many electrons on it, it's going to float away. I got to clean it up. I got to clean it up. They got maintenance here. Don't worry. Something's hot Yeah. It's like one stuff. It's a belt. It is going fast. Is it as fast as it can go? Yeah. It'll get some more charge on it. You can make popcorn. Yeah, can you make popcorn on that? No. <laughs> yeah, you can make popcorn. Maybe we got. Let me start it with a smaller one. I had a smaller cup this morning. A lot. Oh. It's sticking to it. <laughs> All right, this might be a little better. Stick your fingers. Stick my fingers. I'll take the electric charge away from it. Ooh, look at that guy. This morning they all they all just came out like a volcano. They just kept flying away. Maybe uh, something with the day it was more static electricity in there this morning. <laughs> Good thing I taped the one this morning. <laughs> 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 like that? Huh? All right, there we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it took a little bit longer for the charge to build up on it today, but once it filled up, they all they all kind of uh, repelled each other. So when you see this, is you'll get you'll get this uh, electric field. Similar to the magnetic field here. Alright, so here is here is the superb taking place. All right, we have all the electrons are built up here. All the electrons, if I take away that electric field, all the electrons are built up on the sphere and they make this field, an electric field. And if it was just true repulsion, then these guys would stick straight up. But what happens is the strength of this field is obviously in a circular pattern. Because you can see, as I weaken the field, it gets lower and lower and lower. And the stronger the field is, the higher it goes. And even when we turn this off, all right, now there's, uh, there's still that, that electric field is still there. It's full of electrons.